Hello and welcome to episode number 9. We show you the other side of overlanding, the weekly tasks that need to be done and that we do not always have the best camping spots and for sure not the best weather. another 30 kilometers to the mountain to sleep and then they realized the keys are not there and then Kai had the idea I might have and left it there yeah, they were here I could not believe it this is where we camped for the for the night yesterday we drove to Kayseri and from there we went up the mountain to 2300 meters and wanted to stay around the ski resort. Um, just when we arrived there, we realized that uh, our set of keys were missing. So we had to go back 60 kilometers. And indeed, they were there, which it's great. These are the mighty keys. So why are they so important? Well, because they open a lot of our compartments. So water, compressor, even the sandboards are locked. We have another compartment in the back uh, where we store the recovery gear. So we cannot lose them. We have a copy, but these are the, the keys that we use every day. The morning as I woke up, I saw from the car this like weird circle of stones and we checked it out. It's actually a well and it's still operating. For me, it's the first time to see a working well because in Germany we don't have that much of those. Again? <laughs> Again. Um, we want to do some laundry and uh, maybe we buy a drone. We will see what they have in store. Wish us luck. <laughs> we just checked on Google Maps a uh, laundromat and this is what it came with. Um, let's hope they can wash your clothes in, in a day. We just left our clothes in the laundromat. It is pretty expensive so we paid 150 liras for two machines so washing machines um, we were used to more like 35 each uh, but because it's a dry cleaning service I think they have higher prices Kai says we got tourist prices but yeah this is what it is so right now we are going to the um, uh, distributor for uh, DJI drones and see if they have something in store so we actually got a, a drone um, we would like to get the dji mini 3 pro that just launched but it's not going to get into turkey i think until august this year so we want to have one before and we just decided for the smallest one let's do some unboxing inside at defender <laughs> That's pretty small. That's impressive. Yeah, you have the 
the Phantom 4, so coming from a very big uh, drone like that with a big case um, to transport it, it's just a huge difference. Yeah, for the car that's way better. Next stop, a uh, supermarket. So we don't have anything at all, nothing fresh, no vegetables, no food, nothing. We are done with the shopping. We normally go with this IKEA bags and just grocery bags. Put the cold things in the fridge and then we go to eat. <laughs> we were really hungry. It was really late, so we maybe went overboard. living in the city. It was long but successful day. Driving in Turkey is not much different to driving where we are from but a major difference is that if you are in a roundabout you not necessarily have the right to go. It's probably today the fifth or sixth time we're doing that turn here <laughs> and we walked it between yesterday and today, probably four times or five times. Now that we are in the city, let's clean a bit the defender. and I have never seen the defendant that clean. That's the result when you try to walk on a not so dried out salt lake. How far did you make it? Five meters? <laughs> I don't know. First clean the car, then clean the human. I was thinking that I should be grateful because this is only mine. I had it worse. <laughs> and you have seen it. We had lunch and afterwards we um, yeah, wanted to continue. One of us was too lazy to turn around and instead of turning around took a muddy road and then slid into Yeah, slid into that thing. And 
Yeah, and we cleaned the car yesterday. Not sure why we did that. Mount Nimrud. We were already having bad weather on the way, but we thought that it might clear up, but we were completely mistaken. It was a matter of minutes and now it looks like it snowed but it's actually hail. <laughs> Show it. That is fucking crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Amazing style. Look at that amount of ice. It's just sliding. Yeah, his tires are not moving, but his van is moving. Yeah, going up in one of those corners. I drove a bit faster and then all the vegetables and all the fruit went down and Kai is trying to first save what's possible and now attaching it maybe. Chipmunks coming back. What's happening, chipmunk? <laughs> oh, it's full of people. Like everybody, I don't know, has been here. There's people around the main stove because they're too cold. Actually, I wanted to shower today. I was really positive about it. I mean, we can shower warm, which is great. But yeah, I guess like an hour after the thunderstorm, Everything is still white outside, so no shower today. That's our bad weather setup. <laughs> Not so comfortable. We spent a windy night up the mountain, um, it was pretty cozy back there, but yeah, the views are amazing from up here. Looks like the top of the mountain is still covered in clouds and the gate is locked. Now it's time for breakfast, coffee and then we will head up the mountain to see the statues. If the other one gets up. Mm -hmm. 
uh, here were like two or three cars yesterday that we saw and we saw one of them still parked here and just two guys with two Kalashnikovs went into the car throwing the Kalashnikovs in the trunk and now going down in an old white Renault. Pretty weird. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we will continue towards Kurdistan, Turkey, meet amazing people on the way and made our way to the Georgian border.